Hey guys, my name is Michelle and I'm Elvis Lassie on YouTube. Today we're looking at part two of the co-stars. Um, last week we did part one and this is the Joan Rivers show where she looks at four co-stars from the movies. Now there are five parts, so every week on this day we're going to have um, each part coming up on the channel. So um, last week there was a few crazy things being said by certain um, co-stars. So well, one co-star. So this time, let's see if there's any more. Let's have a look. So I'm excited to carry on with the journey. Um, so let's watch it together. We are back talking with Elvis's leading ladies, Stella Stevens and Marianne Mobley and Sue Ann Langdon and Nancy Sinatra. Did being in an Elvis movie help your career? Oh, you're just one of the girls. You know, there are always so many... In every Elvis movie, there's one or two girls. One was the girl he got. But there were so many girls. Did it matter? Did it help you at all? Well, when I first read the script of Girls, 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 that's exactly how I felt, Joan. And I thought, and I read my part, and I said, what is this? I'm in the movie with Elvis, and I don't get Elvis at the end, you know? And I didn't. You didn't so get I Elvis hated it. I didn't want to play it. I didn't want to be in it. I played this uh, witch, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. And uh, I didn't like the character. And so everybody said, oh, but it's going to be the best thing for your career. And it might have been. But... Um, I didn't like my part in it at all. And that makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. Yeah. Did it help you, hinder you, or nothing? You know what I mean? Well, I got him in one and I lost him in another. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you have to remember that in the 60s when I was doing this, that everyone thought that the movies were dead. Everybody thought that television had put the movies out of business. And... Uh, of course, the people that were doing the Elvis Presley movies remembered that there still had to be a place for people to go and date. I mean, young men had to have a place to take a young lady. So they paid Elvis Presley a million dollars a movie. He was the first actor ever to make a million dollars a movie. And they knew if they paid him a million dollars, if they did so many songs, they could get an album, that they were going to make so many millions in return. It was a given. It always worked that way and it never failed. So I was lucky because I had been on Broadway. I'd never done a movie in my life. I didn't think I was pretty enough. I came out to do a revival of Guys and Dolls with Hugh O'Brien and Betty Grable. And the producer said, you know, that funny looking girl playing Sarah Brown would be great for the <laughs> Elvis Presley movie. I mean, they're both from Mississippi. It'd be great publicity. And that's how I got the movie. So I was delighted that my first movie was, some, was with someone so nice. And Boris Segal was the director, a very fine but director. Did it help you? I your don't career? think that it helped my career, no. but it helped me learn my business yeah. in the best possible yeah. way. What about you? Help well, I, I don't know if it really helped my career, <laughs> but but I because uh, I was brunette and 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 I was very I was gypsy something or other, and who would ever know I was me right. after that anyway? And in the other movie, I was kind of drunk and dippy and. And uh, I always did all those different things, and I'm not like that at all. But oh. I, I had, I had black hair in both pictures, and I had, I had kind of an identity thing in my career. Anyway, I'm always different, so yeah. I don't know that it helped me. Though. Yeah. That's it's a wonderful compliment, but it doesn't help, help you at all. Oh. What about you, Nancy? Help or hurt your career? Help or me tremendously, yeah. Johnny, because I was trying to sell records, and uh, it kicked me up into the top ten box office and help my record sales. Plus, it was so much fun. You know, what could be bad? Yeah. Of was course he it was fun a, on the set, though? Did you have, like, good times with him? Or, hysterically yeah. funny. We used to ride around the MGM lot on a bicycle built for two, and the tour buses, the people would do double and triple takes. Yeah. Who is that? You know, I mean, and he was always strumming his guitar and singing in the, in the dressing room, and... Uh, it was it was a wonderful experience, one of the happiest of my life. Yeah, I agree. What about his romances? Who was he having romances with then? Affairs he was with the nineties. Who was he sleeping with then? You know, in those days he said romances. Who was he having it romances with? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Well, guess what, John? It was me. Thank you. Elvis Presley. Tag <laughs> letter here. <laughs> On me would be my back. <laughs> oh, who, who, was, who was he having romances with? Anne Margaret, was she in the picture then? 
Well, all the I you mean, for them after I did. Afterwards. So, yeah. I mean, who but, but, really knows? And unless you're in, in the bedroom with them, I mean, you hear all the stories. But I mean, I don't know if they are true. But you, you know, you hear the stories. Diana Douglas is another one, right? Donna Douglas. Donna Douglas. Donna, Douglas. Donna I, they they did spend some time together. But again, I wasn't in their bedroom, so I don't know. But but uh, I know he didn't have an affair with Barbara Stanwyck. She was in the other movie. I did uh, Roused About and Frankie and Johnny and. Uh, Barbara and he didn't get along too didn't well. Didn't get along. Why no. not? No, I'll tell you why. Because we've all said that Elvis was very sensitive. And, and he was very sensitive about things he didn't know. And you could offend him very easily by just saying something. I, 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 and I guess Barbara had. Because you always were very careful that you didn't say something that would offend him. Like I had just been to Egypt and... and uh, uh, Barbara Streisand was on the cover of, of a magazine. We were talking about her, her similarity to Nefertiti, the, the, mm -hmm. the queen. And he didn't know who Nefertiti was. The, and, the Egyptian queen. And I said, oh, don't you know who she is? And, and, and he said, no. And he walked away very, you know, very hurt that, that we'd said something that he didn't know. And it, and it always kind of surprised me that if you're so sensitive about not knowing things, go hire on. a tutor, you yeah, know, or, on. you know, yeah. but, but that's what the, the fellows were around. They always protected him, and we always had a lot of fun. And when I was on the show, that's when they had the Harleys. He gave all the guys Harleys. So instead of a bicycle built for two, he rode around all over the lot on the Harley. When did Priscilla <laughs> come into the picture? Were well, you there? Priscilla, anyway? Priscilla, you know, he selected war. as his bride-to-be right. when she was 14. And I think that some of this has been written about in her book. I really think it's true that he put women on pedestals and he decided that Priscilla was going to be his bride when she was old enough to marry him. So I think that he might have had ladies that he occupied his time with. He was a red-blooded, very attractive uh, male, but I don't think anything happened with Priscilla until they actually married. Wasn't she pregnant when they got married? I'm, I'm no, I they, don't, no, I don't she think wasn't, so. She no. wasn't, she wasn't. No. Kids, they, what, what about that, Nancy? Was she pregnant or not? Because I went to a she, costume uh, party once with pregnant Priscilla. <laughs> and, 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 in, a, in a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> and I won the prize. <laughs> was this a bogus costume I was wearing? I, I don't know, Joni. I don't know. It's possible that uh, it was one of those kind of weddings. But it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But she you was were pregnant the when we were... Did well, you give I gave shower? her the shower. Yeah. I gave it to her, yeah, her baby shower. And uh, she didn't even look pregnant when she was pregnant, yeah. so who knows. Was he a good actor? You, you, you talk about being an actress, you know, and, and, and so. Was he a good actor? He didn't much care and when he, he worked care. with me about acting. What he cared about was starring in the vehicle that they put him in. And uh, he didn't really much care about acting. And he was frightened to do anything yes, that was out of his care. realm. Oh, no, he was I, I, uh, I just think very he was unsure. Very unsure. I, I think he might have liked to have been a, a better actor. Uh, but, but number one, the colonel had it set up. You, you pay me this and you get Elvis. And so that's what was the way it was done. But I think he was very frightened. When we come back from Grisha, we're talk about more about him being a good actor. And then we'll talk about the Colonel. And Nancy, I'm sure you were involved a lot with that too. Was he, you know, ruled so much by him or yes. as much as we... Yes. Oh, ooh, we'll be right back with more. <laughs> don't, don't go anywhere. Okay, so that's the end of that part two. Um, a few things in there that I wanted to stop it at the time. I don't have the technology to stop it and talk about it. So annoying. But, um, because then I forget what I want to say. But the first of all, with the Stella Stevens, when she alluded to she didn't get him in the movie and she wanted another part, that told me everything. So we'll just stay on that one. That told me everything about the reasons why her feelings might be the certain feelings. <clears throat> and then when we went on to um, Sue Ann Langdon saying about not knowing about Nefertiti. Now, this might be true, but it's also her assumption. And maybe he walked away because... He wasn't interested in the conversation, or maybe he walked away because someone called him. Or maybe he walked away because he needed the toilet. I mean, you do not know why he walked away. She's assuming it's because he didn't know about that subject, which I think is unfair without knowing for a fact. Now, also, Elvis then became quite a searcher and did seek um, knowledge and devoured books. So we know that he did that. And that may have been from because he didn't know certain topics. So you want to discover. So I can imagine that maybe does happen. But I'm not sure whether that story says everything about um, Elvis not knowing certain subjects. I wasn't quite keen on that. Then about pregnant Priscilla, ridiculous. 
and um, hate that chat and that is why the myths keep going and keep being perpetuated um, over and over again um, because of just misinformation and about complete and utter nonsense that is then said and people think it's fact which is such a shame. So, which takes me back to this movie that's coming out on June 24th. Let's all hope that this ends all the bull crap and we get to know the true story. Well, we all know it as friends, but for people out there in the population that maybe go to Halloween parties um, dressed up in these costumes that then perpetuates the myth. So, um, yeah, my dog's barking, so I gotta go now. So, um, someone must be at the door. But thanks so much for joining me on part two. I hope to see you in part three. So, come with me next week and we'll watch part three, which looks to be about the Colonel. So, that should be really interesting. So, please come back and watch it with me. And I shall see you on another. Bye, everyone.